Are you ready? Hi, my name's Philip Arder and I'm here to talk about the great pasta disaster. I probably best known for a series about a character called Eddie Dickens and that was translated into 34 languages and sold all over the world and I thought I'd only ever be known for Eddie Dickens and then I came up with a new series called Grub Town and the first book was called Stinking Rich and Just Plain Stinky and it, at the end of last year it won the Roald Dahl Funny Prize and they said we'd love you to do a little World Book Day one as well so that was a fantastic opportunity because because I'm living in the town inside my head I could just really expand so there's Flabby Gomez is the mayor and he believes in one man one vote and he's the one man who gets the vote then there's Grubby Hanson, the chief of police, who's a kleptomaniac, so he's always arresting himself for theft. So it's just a, your, your typical town, really. If you're looking at my head now, it all came from inside here. Probably got strained through the beard and the moustache on the way out, which is why it's a little bit strange. But I just love the fact that I get paid to share my imagination with people, because I can't do anything else, I can't drive a car. I can do up my shoelaces, because they hadn't invented Velcros when I learned to do that. But it's really good when you're rubbish at everything else that people actually pay you to do the one thing you can do. I don't know where I get my ideas from. How do people know how to wire a plug? It's just one of those things. And I, I was born in it, as well as these good looks, but not this beard. I wasn't born with the beard, that came later. I get letters from all over the world, and I'm too mean to pay to have them translated, so they could be quite threatening, and I'm thinking, oh, they love my books. Um, but it really is all age groups, because I, I, I just really write for me, I don't write for a particular person in mind. And I find that therefore I'm not sort of dumbing down or saying, will this appeal to the French? So it just so comes from me and it has a wide, a wide appeal therefore.